We're talking today with Rare X Limited. It's an ASX listed company focused on developing rare earth deposits in Australia, including the Cummins Range Rare Earth Project in the East Kimberley region of Western Australia. It has an ASX code of REE and a market cap of around $28.5 million. We have with us Jeremy Robinson, who is the Managing Director. Jeremy, thanks for your time. Thanks for having us, Tim. Good to be here. Now, uh, Rare Earth seems to be in the spotlight at the moment. You have a number of gold companies finding Rare Earth. Rare Earth actually isn't that rare by nature, but there are a lot of different players in the space. Uh, Rare X has been in the space a lot longer than others. H- have you seen this involvement evol- of these other players into the space? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Rare Earth has very much come into focus in people's investors' attention recently. So, you know, a lot of new so-called clay projects pop up uh, every week. There's a new one. Uh, we've been in this space for the last five, six years. We took a view you know, before everyone else did that, you know, Rare Earth is a sector you want to be in. We have one of the tried traditional projects in terms of a Kabona type project in Western Australia, and we plan to put this one into production in the coming years. Uh, last week, there was a critical minerals, mineral summit, um, and the Treasurer made the point that mining will underpin Australia's position as a clean energy superpower. Can you make a comment on this, given your significant Rare Earth project? Uh, look, that's absolutely the case. The government is very much uh, in our favour in terms of helping us develop our projects now, um, specifically for Rare X and where we're at in our life cycle. It's the Critical Minerals Development Program, which is under the Critical Minerals Facilitation Office, where there's $50 million available on a dollar for dollar basis to help us with our feasibility studies and our pilot plants, shall it come to that in the, in the coming years. So we're busily preparing our uh, application for when that program opens and we expect it to open in about February and we'll be front of the queue for that program. And, and Jeremy, you made a, a couple of significant announcements um, this week. The first was your development and progress update from your Cummins Range Rare Earth project. Um, what were the highlights there? Yeah, well, our project update that we put out uh, last week was uh, really showed all the work we've been doing in the background with this project. Apart from drilling over the last 12 months, there's been a hell of a lot of work put into it, both our approvals, our permitting, our metallurgy, our, our study work. So. A lot of that was around, uh, we'll have a mining lease application that's gone in this year. That'll be approved probably next year with the help of our traditional owners. Environmental uh, permitting is going ahead with some uh, flora and fauna surveys and some off potential offtake for power in the Ord River scheme as well, which will give us a nice green angle to our program. So all the stuff in the background you don't see, we've been working on, we thought we'd better tell our shareholders about it and you'll see us report on those milestones over the next six months. The second announcement this week was in regards to your drilling results at the Cummins Range. Um, Will these drilling results point to a resource upgrade? Well, that's right. Uh, This is the drilling we've been doing all this year. The the assay turnaround has been a bit slower than than we hoped, but, you know, our results are flowing through now. It's another great intercept from from the project, you know, three to 400 metres at up to half percent rare earths. And look, this is all feeding into our uh, resource upgrade, which we're planning for next quarter. So come March next year, this project will be very, very much larger and, you know, well and truly in the top three in in Australia. And we're, we're very happy with the way the the resources moving forward. And and post uh, the end of 2022, it's been a tough year. 2023, what are some of the, the catalysts you're looking to achieve? Yeah, well, the main one for us up front is a resource upgrade in March. Uh, then you'll have a mining lease application approval in, in June. Uh, we'll probably rescope the size of our project considering the resource is growing as well, but that'll ultimately uh, conclude in a, a pre-feasibility uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, hopefully we'll see an offtake at in, in some point during the year as well. So, you know, it's a very key catalyst for us in 2023. Jeremy, nice to see you again. Thanks for your time. Thank you.